me and Connor are here. We are at the top of our campus. As you can see, this is not, this isn't a green screen. This is the real deal. This is SUNY Oneonta. So what do you want to talk about? Talk about the, we smell like burnt fire. Pit. We do smell like burnt fire. Well, yeah, that is fire true. Fire is burnt always. Yeah. We smell like a fire pit. We went to college camp, had a bonfire. Yeah. And now we're here. Roll clip back to me sneezing. Do you think you could just control me in editing? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to leave that as is, oh. and you're going to watch this back. No, you're going to edit it in. No, I'm not. Let's uh, let's replay that hit one more time. No, I? we're not replaying anything. Nothing will be replaying. Mm. You're wearing sunglasses while it's dark out. How do you feel about that? Feels awesome. Yeah. Protecting my eyes from the moon. Actually, there's nothing here right now. The clouds yeah, it's are actually pretty. The clouds pretty are covering, so there's actually nothing out right now. I want to go play wall ball. But... You want to do what? Wall ball. Wall ball. Yeah. Lacrosse. You know, wall huh. ball from the wall. You can also just go to the field. There's no one there. Yeah, that's true. Then I gotta hike out a goal and everything like that. Wall ball is just fun. It's true. Why don't you tell me how you feel about your halfway through junior year ending is? How do you feel about the end oh, of this yeah, year ending? Oh yeah, first semester junior. I don't know. It feels fine, I guess. I'm having a midlife crisis about it. I mean, you still have a semester and a half left. Yeah, which is crazy. Like, last year's my real full year, and that's it, which is kind of dumb to have that as a junior. And then senior year, I just get the one... I don't know what I'm going to do about that, honestly, that half semester, like... Because I I don't know if I'll get to go on trips or whatever next year, or, like, the following year after that. What trips? Like, the ski trips? Yeah, ski, frisbee. You could always just come up if you really wanted to, but I'm not going to be here, so. You won't be here when I'm here, too. My senior year. Th that's what I'm saying. I'm yeah. saying I can't help you out because I won't be here. I know. You can go on the trips and stuff. You're SA certified, so you can drive for me <laughs> on all the trips. Yeah. Good. Yeah, and I have to do that now, too. Now that I'm going to be e-board. Well, I'll be doing most of them, probably. Oh, yeah, I trial and ever we're gonna have to see how i feel i mean we know we're not gonna drive to gore just because that's the bus and bel-air how is it like to bel-air do we take a highway why can't i remember bel-air we i feel like it is kind of just the roads and stuff i feel like there's not a lot of highway yeah, it's just roads gore we take the bus yeah bel-air i wanted to say it's like roads and stuff which i kind of we mainly take the bus though no the trips are split 50 50 oh yeah, it's Gore one weekend, Bel Air one weekend, and then Whiteface is the last one. Whiteface represent. Go check that vlog out. Are those girls still up there? They look annoying and kind of weird. <laughs> Honestly, I can't see out of my glasses on. I have sunglasses put on. Put them on. No, I don't. I don't want to do that. I feel like I look snazzy. All right, I'll put them on. Roll image of Juliet with double glasses. Hey, that it, wow, I could see a lot better. Yeah. I can actually, like, see things. This actually is a really cool view. I can't see it. It's still blurry for me. Really? Yeah. Camera. You need glasses, dude. Yeah. I gotta get those blue light ones that you're talking about. Why do you need blue light? Oh, because you work near your screen a lot. Yeah. If you look right here, that's that's fine arts. That's where Connor spends most of his time. Yeah, it's right there. This is this building here is Fitzel. Neither one of us has any classes in that building this Had year. Two classes there my entire year throughout college, I guess. I've had a few classes there, but um, I wish I had more. It's a nice building. And we're back. Welcome back. My back hurts. Sorry for the minor delay. My phone told me uh that I was out of storage. What were we saying? We, oh, we were talking about fits. How you like fits. Yeah, it's a nice building. What else can you see from here? You can't really see... Uh, the arches. Can you see the arches? I don't know. Can you? You might. So there's the pillars? Is that what you're talking about? Oh, yeah, the pillars. So, let's see. Can you see the pillars? I don't... No, you can't. You can see the bottom part of it right here. So, there is a part of our school called the pillars 
when you come into our school, you're going to walk through the pillars. And then when you graduate, you walk the opposite way. So we're, we're standing right now. The freshmen in the fall are going to walk down these stairs right here. They're going to go through the pillars. And that's like, you know, you know, you, you, you're in the school now. And then when you leave, you go the opposite way, the symbol of good luck. And if you walk in them any other time, it's bad luck. And you don't graduate. I've heard it's bad luck. I heard you don't graduate. I know a lot of people that did walk through. I've watched somebody walk through firsthand that they did not come back. So you don't graduate. It's a portal. It sends you to a different dimension if you don't walk back at the right time. My Sharona. My Sharona. Oh, they're listening to music. What is that? Are we? Or something? Are we missing out? Are we like not cool kids? No. We're not? No. Are we missing out? Yeah. Should we be like doing something tonight? Yeah. I should be doing work. I don't have any more work. I turned in an 11 page paper yesterday. So that was my last assignment. Shout out to all our 11 page people. Paper. <laughs> <laughs> 11 page people, shout out to That's you. Hell, I don't want to redo it. Shout out to all of our 11 pagers. <laughs> 11 pagers. <laughs> shout out to all of our 11 page <laughs> writers out there writing those papers, getting them in. Our hearts go out to you. Peace, brothers. Good luck. It's tough out there in these streets. It is really tough, man. Nobody talks about how hard college is. No, I mean, I'm kind of coasting. Yeah, but even if for you, even for you, you're, you can't say it's like the easiest thing in the world. Because mm, no. you still have to put in work. You're still putting but hours in fine arts. Would I say I'm doing less work here than I did in high school? Yes. A thousand percent. High school. I'm was, the opposite. If I could harder. go back to high school, I would do everything different. And I would be like a straight A student in I'd high school. I'd probably try a little less, honestly. But still get yelled at all the same. No, I would have tried. I don't. See, here's the thing. It, in college, I'd say it's normal to put in, like, two hours of work a day into, like, class and stuff. And that's, like, a good day. You know, that's fine. Like, an hour, two hours. Like, that's, like, a fine day. Doing that in high school meant you were doing the test or you were studying for a test. Now, I can't even tell you the last time I spent two hours on something for high school. Maybe a project. Maybe an elementary school for, like, the science fair. Yeah, you're not seeing me making a full-on bulletin board or something like that for college like i would in high school explaining like photosynthesis and photosynthesis photosynthesis you know that was probably the last time you know what i did once i did a project you ever see in movies with the cup and the string yeah that you talk so what we did we did an experiment for that and to see how long we could make it and how good it would sound and one of the rules was the string can't touch anything because now it's ruining like the sound waves or something mm. like it would have to be a straight line like it can't touch anything mm. so like in grown-ups when they have the strings all around the house it's a lot it has to be a straight shot. I like grown ups. Great funny. movie. Adam Sandler. Funny. Absolute legend. It's, it's amazing work that he does. God at basketball. Absolute goat. He is. I love his I love his look. I feel like there was a TikTok post of these girls that were like, you know, this guy was going around, what are you dressed as? Yeah, what are you dressed? And they're all like, big I'm a police shirt. officer. I'm the devil. I'm an angel. And then these girls were like, we're Adam Sandler. And they had like the beard, the baggy <laughs> pants. And I was like, these girls, they get it. Yeah. Favorite Adam Sandler movie. Favorite Adam Sandler movie. That's rough. You know, I really like, like Grown Ups. Billy Madison and Happy Gilmore. I was going to say, I like Happy Gilmore. Those can... Those swap back and forth. I don't know. I feel like I'd have to have a marathon back to back to back to that's figure out. Way too much Sandler, though. Yeah, but I feel like that's the only that's way like we can figure it out. Nick Cage marathon too. Like that's a lot of Nick Cage. But I, I mean, that's that's really the only way that I can figure out what Adam Sandler movies are good. Sorry, this girl just walked by and she was like on the phone and it threw me off. She was talking about nothing interesting. She was, she was saying, "Well, what time do you usually go to bed?" I literally just wanted to blurt out nine thirty. Nine thirty. Your bedtime's in an hour. Oh, shoot. I gotta get back. I gotta go to bed, man. I gotta go get that sleep. We gotta speed this up. I have an 8 a.m. final tomorrow. That's tomorrow? Wow. The, I have the first final, the first day of finals. My finals every other day are from 11 to 1.30. Perks of being an art major. We kind of lost track on that, uh, being in college compared to high school. Yeah. I mean, I, no, in high school, we just had regents. 
which yeah. was a, a kind of equivalent to finals. No, I hated that. I hated Regents. Oh, the Regents was a nightmare. I'd, yeah. I'd do college finals any day. Yeah. I. Oh, SATs. Never took them. You never took an SAT? It was. You know what I did? Optional. I took. Didn't um, have to. or, really? Yep. Oh, you know what? That because was that COVID era type so thing, I so. was gonna say my uh year was the first year they said that colleges don't need your SAT scores. Yeah. That was the first year. And then when they were doing it with me, they were like, "Oh, well, we can bring them back, but it's up to you guys if you really want to take them." So what happened was, is I took two PSATs, took the SAT, I got like an eleven sixty, which isn't horrible. I think that's like average. I have no idea. I think an eleven sixty is probably like average or something like that. Um. But we had the option, like, my class had the option to not, like, submit it. So I didn't. Yeah. That's because, well, because yeah. here's the thing. I mean, what is it? It's out of, like, 1,600 or something. It's not a true measure of who you are as a person either. You know how I got into the school? I did an interview. Really? You had yep. to do, like, a class-style interview? No. So, okay. So, pretty much, yeah. So, because it was during COVID, um, they sent us emails basically being, like, you know, I, I don't really know what they did, but it was someone from some department, you know, they took your college essay and they would look the, and they read it over and then they'd say, you know, what makes you like, what, what makes you want to come to Oneonta? And they would, I guess they were just trying to find the best people to come here. And then they were, and then, you know what he said? Like, literally I didn't get a letter or anything. I did that interview it was maybe half an hour. And at the end, he was like, well, I'd like to welcome you to uh, SUNY Oneonta. You, you've been accepted. And he was like, you, you had a wonderful interview. I was like, you know, really? like normally when you do, yes, normally when you do interviews, this was like 11 o'clock in the morning. Oh, that's crazy. And normally when you do interviews, you know, they'll email you later or they'll say, you know, check your emails by five o'clock and they'll say, we'll get back to you in a week. But no, I, I got accepted right, right away. On the spot. That's cool. I just submitted applications and whatever. And they got back to me later on. They were like, congratulations. You made you know it. What I don't remember. I remember getting accepted, getting all my acceptance letters, yada, yada, yada. How did I commit? Did we like go to a website and commit? I don't FAFSA. remember. I did we up, commit? Because I know I wait, my I applied through the SUNY which I website. Hated. I hated doing that in high school. And I didn't... Do you not do the FAFSA every year? No, I still do. Mm, I it's a nightmare. It. I still hate it. The FAFSA is such a scam. Oh, you did you see that they updated it, by the way? They updated the FAFSA so much faster now. Oh, it's good. Yeah, it was really slow and kind of clunky. Right? Did you redo it this year? Uh, I don't remember. No, because I Maybe. I do it every year, and it was just so much faster. But no, there's like a a portion where you can just it'll say like grab my information from the IRS or whatever. It never works. Yeah, that part never worked, and I think they realized that because I did not see that option this year. Because I guess so many people said like, "Oh, it doesn't work," but I know so many people that were like, "Yeah, no, it worked 100 percent for me," and I was like, You're "Lying! It just did not work. You were a liar." I've had class periods in high school dedicated to using FAFSA and going through it. I hated it. We, so I had that for ROTC. They sat us down and they basically like, the one thing that freaked me out is they were like, when you're getting ready to apply for colleges. And then they were like, all right, once you get accepted. But I was like, nobody's teaching me how to apply. Yeah. No, no one ever taught me how to apply. You know who knew? My dad. My dad goes, just go on the SUNY website. And and it said, uh, apply now. Yeah, no, and they you never. And you picked what they colleges taught you wanted. Us everything about, well, quote unquote, everything about FAFSA. And then they were like, yeah, and that's it. And I was like, all right, well, how do I do did you know, how, how do I apply? How do I say yes? And yeah. they never really... They never taught us how to apply. They never taught us how to say yes. They told me how to look at colleges that fast. You know, I only applied right. to SUNYs. I didn't apply to any CUNYs. I applied to all SUNYs. How do you apply to an out-of-state school? Do you just, like, go on their website? Because you know how yeah. our website, it'll say, like, apply now? Like, how do yeah. you do? How do you apply to an out-of-state? You talk to them. You're like, hey, I'm looking to apply. And yeah, but who right. do you talk to? The Welcome Center at SUNY Oneonta? Basically. <laughs> union you just talk to somebody whoever's in charge well i mean i'd have to assume you go to their website because you know if you go on our website it's you could apply you could apply right through the suny onto website but i did not do that you know what was insane i paid 50 dollars for every school i applied to really i don't remember paying i paid through the suny website and i paid 50 dollars for every school i applied to i wish i could go back and well no i wish i could go back to my school so i could like, because they've done this before, where they've had college people go back. I want to go back and just tell all those high schools every single thing you have been told about college is it's wrong, absolute lie to your face. You know what was the biggest one? They're not going to let you use pencils in college. I not I, one professor has told me I can't use a pencil. 
and everything is digital. If like, anything, they tell me to use pencils because we have scantrons and stuff. They tell me to use high pencils. High school teachers would tell me, oh, you're going to have tests every single day. Uh, you got to do like, you got to stay on top of your work. You got to like do this, do that. Um, colleges aren't going to give out extra credit. Why should I give out extra credit? I want to go back and tell those kids I got extra credit for a class almost on the daily because the professors here want you to pass the class most of the time. Yeah, they. I feel like high school teachers are just, I want to know what colleges they went to. You can just ask them. I, I know. No, because my point being, to. where are you getting this misinformation from? I know the colleges that my teachers went to. I don't. But my point being, I never got, but, like, we get extra credit. Or, like, they're like, oh, colleges. I really hated that when they're like, colleges will make you write in pen. I don't like writing in pen. I, do, I wrote in pen most of my high school career because they said that. I don't own one pen in my backpack. I do everything digitally, so. I also, yeah, I also, I you know what I think is a scam? The fact that in high school you can't take notes on laptops. I guess because they're kids. Yeah, I wouldn't trust that. I yeah, I'm, no, I changed my mind. Student, I wouldn't trust that. No, I take all my notes. I can't. I can't physically write. Well, here's the thing: I'm not fast enough. That's no, the one thing I'll say. High school, uh, high school teachers were right about is that they're not like college professors will not wait up on you. Like but they're I've just never, gonna keep going. I've never had to sit in on an actual lecture, lecture on stuff, and then be like, only very few times will the, the professors will be like, oh, this is a lecture style class, but it's basically just like a typical classroom setting, and it's like, oh yeah, I can go back and repeat this. I don't like the lecture, like IRC. I don't like it. I've never been in. The, I like the classroom I've setting. Never, I don't like. Lecture I've never rooms. taken a class in an actual like full on big lecture hall, like the place that we go to for ski. IRC. Like in IRC, but in the bigger lecture hall rooms, I don't. I've never taken a class in there. I've only done the mini ones with the desks, and even that's only like twenty people in there. It's not a lot. I have taken. I can't take classes in IRC because I'm too scared to sit in the front. So I sit in the back, but then I can't hear the professor, and then I just get, like, sidetracked. All right, so my phone keeps telling me that we're out of storage. That's why there's so many cuts in the footage. Anything else you have to say? College isn't that bad. It's not. It's hard, but it's not that bad. It's kind of bad. It is kind of bad. Yeah, I'm, Some people struggle, Connor. I'm really struggling right now. Yeah, yeah college. <laughs> oh, doing- my God. Now it's on low power mode again. We're ending the video here because every time we talk, something something happens. Yeah. No, it's not that bad. I mean, I'm doing pretty good. All right. Well, I'll catch you guys. Peace.